To help homeless animals, Lollipop Farm relies on the entire community. Without them, we can't help these animals. And every animal deserves a second chance, regardless of how serious their condition is. We took in a litter of five kittens. They were about three weeks of age. They didn't have a mother. They were skin and bones, full of parasites, and we were concerned that they may not make it. And I took these five kittens home into foster care. The kittens required a lot of special attention. Because we didn't have a mother, they did need to be syringe fed and kept warm with heating blankets. They needed to be fed four to five times a day at least. And because I was at work, I often brought in volunteers to help me care for them and make sure that they were fed and, and cleaned. The volunteers and myself worked this hard because every one of their lives was precious and they deserved our complete compassion and all the care we can provide. After a week or so, all the kittens really showed tremendous improvement with the exception of one. His name was Sid and he really didn't progress as well as his litter mates. He was given a lot of uh, special medical attention. He required numerous visits to our clinic. I was unsure whether he would make it. It's hard to say why Sid did so poorly compared to his brothers and sisters. Kittens this age are in a very delicate state and some don't have that will to survive and some do fade and try as you may some don't make it. Sid was a fighter from the beginning and even at his worst he had a spark in his eyes and there was a moment when I realized that he had turned the corner and he was going to make it. It made all those sleepless nights and all those moments of worrying all worth it. He was full of energy and he seemed to want to experience everything. He loved to play. He and his brother wrestled and ran around and it was almost as if he was making up for lost time, that he needed to enjoy every moment that he was awake. Sid was adopted with his brother, Henry, who seemed to be his favorite sibling. Henry played with Sid all the time and I think having Henry around helped save Sid. It was so obvious the effort that Lollipop Farm put into saving these cats. When I saw that, I thought, well, they've done all the hard part. You know, I can take them home and love them and take care of them. They make me so happy. Every morning when I wake up, Sid and Henry are sleeping next to me. And when I first start to stir, uh, Sid will come up on top of my pillow and he'll start licking my face and I giggle every single morning. Every single day when I pick them up and I hug them and I say, you were meant to be with me. <laughs> and so I'm just having a great time with them. I have a niece uh, through friendship, Caitlin is her name, and she watches my cats when I do travel. She plays with them, she loves them. She is just fantastic. Sid, for everything he's been through, he's a daredevil. He, he, he just runs around and he's just fearless. And he's a lot of fun and he's just so fluffy and furry and lovable. Henry is equally lovable, but he's kind of like the uh, alpha male. He's jumping around, he's taking charge. They cuddle up and they groom each other and they wrestle gently, it's so sweet. Sid and Henry came just at the right time for me, and they are the best medicine <laughs> you could ever want. They really bring joy to me. I know this sounds so cliche, but they really make my heart sing. They are great company. I love them. I really love my cats. From this litter, I learned to never give up, ever, because you never know 